Hey guys, so remember how yesterday I went to the grocery store and only went in for milk? And then, oh, I need to get my shoes. And then I spilled the whole gallon of milk and I didn't want to go back into the store. <laughs> so now we need milk again. It's just ridiculous, you guys. Actually, I want to show you how much milk we have left. Um, we've only had it, we didn't have any milk last night for dinner. Well, actually has always has a cup with whatever meal. And then they've only had breakfast today. And they're at school, it's Friday. And I wanna show you how much milk we have left. I knew it wasn't gonna last long. I knew I would have to go to Costco today. I just knew it. So I'm kind of, have been like, I don't know why I'm dreading it. I don't, I don't mind going to Costco at all. But let me just show you how much milk we have left. Oh, it's actually better than I thought because we had orange juice, that's why. That milk would have been like down that much more. But because we had orange juice, I think two or three of the kids had like toast and eggs this morning. I know Kaylee probably had eggs and Chelsea had toast and juice and fruit for breakfast this morning. I have to go to Costco and I'm dreading it because the dreaded snowpocalypse is coming back to Seattle. We have a freezing vortex. I'm using all these crazy words. <laughs> That's what people around here use when it's not normal. Here we got down below 30 last night. It was really cold, rainy and cold today, but the freezing, freezing temperatures are coming Sunday, I believe. So it's supposed to be like no more than like 32 during the day and dropping into the mid 20s at night. Pouring rain outside right now, so it's like, oh, I don't think it's actually gonna snow. If it's cold long enough and the ground really gets cold and dry after not raining, it really can stick if it does start to snow. So I have my list. I'm gonna go for some basics at Costco and I really hope it's not crazy busy. Someone said that they went to um, just a regular grocery store. They were out of broccoli. Not milk, not water, not even coffee. But the guy was like, yeah, with the snow coming, broccoli. You guys tell me, leave a comment below. Why in the world would broccoli be the item that you would run out of at a grocery store if you had a major storm. I know that we're kind of crazy here because this is the only storm we're gonna get for the whole year, but like if you had like a hurricane running through your town or a tornado and you knew it was coming, not that you can predict either one of those things, but like broccoli, I don't even understand. Like I'm going for milk, eggs, bread. I'm going, I'm going for basics, but broccoli, like I don't even understand. So you guys tell me what we're missing because we don't get it. I don't get it. I would never think, oh, I gotta stock up on broccoli. It's crazy. So far, so good. I literally pulled into the parking lot, turned down the first aisle, thought opened up. So, so far, so good. The entire parking lot is filled, though. That's normal for a Friday. I didn't get here right when they opened, so I don't know, like, how crowded it was right when they opened, but let's see how quick I can get in and out of here. What time is it? So it's 11.45. 11.40, oh, five. Let's see how quickly I can get out there. And yes, I was listening to Moana on Pandora. It just happened to be the last song and I didn't, I meant to skip it and I didn't. Made it to my car, driving away at 12.10. So not bad, 25 minutes in and out of Costco for under $100. You know, for under 100 bucks, 15, 20 minutes, you know, in Costco is a pretty good, you know, round. I, I didn't go in there to Licky Lou. I got, and one of the main reasons why I went to Costco instead of just going back for more milk at the grocery store is because, one, it's a better deal at Costco for milk. I mean, one gallon of milk is $3 at the grocery store, and two gallons of milk at Costco is like $4.39. So yeah, it's a better deal. And then having girls these days, it's putting me in T-Bolt pad mode. <laughs> I bought three packages of pads at Target one month ago. One month ago. Two girls, one month. We are going to do them bulk style from Costco now. Yep. I did get a $5 gift card for buying three packages at Target, but still isn't as good of a deal as buying them at Costco. So when I do one of my big stock ups next, I'm gonna stock up on pads. <laughs> it's gonna become one of my things that I stock up on. You guys, I don't have much luck not dropping food. My jar of jelly that I just got rolled out of the car and smashed onto the ground. Oh, I'm so annoyed. So now I'm cleaning up jelly and glass off of my garage floor in the pouring rain because it's just over the edge of the garage to where I'm getting soaking wet. So I 
I went to Redbox on my way home from Costco. I had already like reserved a movie for the kids for their movie night tonight. We haven't done it. Well, I mean, they got movies for Christmas, so I guess we technically did it. But that was just because it was break and just what we do. But so I got them a movie. I don't know what it's called. Some cartoon that they haven't seen. And then I got myself Where'd You Go Bernadette. And I was going to watch it tonight or tomorrow afternoon, like when the kids are playing or off doing their thing or whatever. And I realized, you know what? <laughs> I can watch it right now. So... I've been watching it. This is the very end of it. It's really good, and I have to say, for once in a really, really long time, a movie based on a book actually, like, did a really good job. I have to say, oh, here comes. <laughs> I can tell the kids are on the bus. I can't turn it around because then you can see the phone numbers. Abby's friends have started. You can tell they're on the bus because they're... I'm going to see how many messages we we get from now until the kids get home from school. But they really, like, I actually feel like the movie did a better job. If you haven't seen Where'd You Go, Bernadette, read it. Because it's a really good book. But when I read the book, the whole concept is where did Bernadette go? And then when I read the, I got to the end of the book and I was like, that's it? Like, there's not much more explanation. There wasn't any more details. And watching the movie, the details are in the visual to me. They just did a better job of explaining where she goes and what she's doing and like you feel it more than you do when you read it. And that usually doesn't cap happen for me when I have read a book and then they make it into a movie and they dramatize it and Hollywoodize it and all that kind of stuff. But this one, for sure. So read it and then come and watch it and rent it because I, I really did feel it a lot more after watching the movie. Anyway, I just thought that was kind of fun. It's Friday night, so I got them uh, that movie, and then I got a pizza from Costco, let them hang out here. Jason and I are going to go out with friends that just invited us to go to dinner, um, just at like a pizza place here in town. I might just get salad. Kaylee's already asking me to take her and like eight other teenagers to the mall tomorrow. I'm like, no, I don't want to. Is that making me a bad mom, you guys? This is just mom chats. Is that making me a bad mom that I don't want to drive like an hour? It's like an hour. There and back is an hour. So it's two hours of my day in the car just to drop them off at the mall. And then I have to go back and get them. Maybe I'm just lame, but whatever. I wanted to show you some packages that just came in the mail. Abby ordered a little necklace for her friend, but I can't show you because <laughs> her friend watches. So... I got this cute little dress and it has like a, an elastic waist and it's got like aztec -y prints. It's not really what I was looking for, but it actually will go well with where we're going. And let me show you kind of, so it's kind of got like straps up there, like long and flowy. And it has like an elastic waist, right about, yeah, right there. So it kind of like folds over. It's kind of cute. So I ordered that on Amazon um, just because I, it was only like $7.99. I don't know it was really cheap and I really wanted like a dress for where we're going I always am more comfortable in certain situations being comfortable and not being hot I can't give away where we're going I'm trying to decide if when Jason gets home we've been doing something we've been doing something and then when he gets home we're gonna tell you what it is because then we might tell you where we're going or we might make you look for five more clues Six more, because I'm going to put one more on Instagram. I haven't been doing as many as I wanted because it actually is harder than I thought to give clues without giving it away. <laughs> so, but we have been doing some clues. I just, I want to tell you guys, and I don't want to spoil the surprise. So when Jason gets home tonight, I will ask if I think we're ready to tell you guys or have you wait for a few more clues. So the other clues, um, you'll have access quick access to the clues. I'll just tell you that. I'll, I'll give you that heads up. You'll have quick access to the clues that we have left you and I'll tell you where they are later. I'm, it's kind of fun. Oh, my hair's kind of all fuzzy because I was laying down and I'm still like 90 days out, literally 90 days out from going and I just am so excited. January is a hard month because there's nothing going on. So like there's nothing to occupy your mind or your time or anything like that. Like your my life right now is like boring. Like this is boring to me. Like pads and melatonin, that's what I get to go buy at Costco. Like I would rather be buying clothing to go travel with. Ashley, did you have a good day at school? Is it nice and wet out there? Do you have anything in your folder? Yes. Yeah? You're already playing with toys over there? No. Yeah, Chelsea was right there. She got your village out. What is that? Is that for me? You're not going to get up and bring it to me? 
Lazy. I got you a movie. Yeah, what movie? It's right up there. You want to go grab it? Yeah, uh, Get the other one. What is it? I don't remember what it's called. Bring it here. Let me see. I don't remember what it's called. It's not like a Disney movie or anything. It's called Missing Link. So we'll watch that after I go with Daddy, right? Yeah. All right. I'm going on a date with Daddy. I have an hour paper. So Abby will babysit. You watch that movie and then go to bed. Okay. This poor thing. This happened this morning, didn't it, Boo? And the other day, and the day before. It only happens to her when she's at home. I think it's from sitting on these seats. <laughs> Is it up here that hurts, Ashley? I can't move because it earlier. <laughs> like this just keeps happening to her where she's, you know. I don't know. I think she's sitting on the seat too long. All right, so it's feeling a little better, right? Here, pause yourself for a second real quick. Okay. Do you want to try and bend? Here, let's just try and put your knee in my, or put your foot in my hand. Can you lift it up to put it in my hand? Well, that hurts. You can do it. Now you can do it. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I'm not trying to make you hurt. Here, pause yourself. I just want to, we kind of got to get you out of this chair. I know, but I think this is the chair. I think it's what's causing it. I want to just get you to the couch. I know. Let's just get you to the couch. Come here. Put your hands around my neck. Put your hands around my neck. Okay. But am I going to carry you? Okay. Oh, it doesn't hurt right now? It's just hanging. It's okay. I'm just gonna get to the couch, okay? Just get you to the couch. I feel like I feel like you just like it seems when I like whenever I just keep it like this, it hurts because when I lift it up, it hurts. Yeah. Yeah. So it feels a little bit better now. Okay. Let's take your shoes off. Okay. Can we take your shoes off? I'm going to bend the other one. You can't bend the other one? You want me to help you? No. Okay. Can you lay down? <laughs> you can plop, can't you? Okay. Can you try and lift up your leg? Oh, that's better. That stretches it out. Is that better? Okay. Okay, so now you're laying on the floor. Does it hurt to get up? Can you get up? Can you stand up on it? Let's see if you can stand up on it now. It's been like a half hour. Oh, she's up, my friends. She's up. Does it hurt? Just kind of tight. Okay. We're playing lazy by the fire tonight, right? Okay, do you want your pizza, Ashley? Pizza and a movie? Or do you want to wait to watch the movie when I go? I'm leaving in like an hour when daddy gets home. Are you hungry now? We can put the pizza in. Then you can eat the pizza and then do the movie. Yeah. Okay, get it out of the freezer. Okay, let's get it out. It's, uh oh, someone's already had ice cream. Let's get one of these guys out. Pull it out some more. Like yep, well the nice thing is that you can pull the pepperoni off. You wanna come do that? Off with the yeah, you just take the pepperoni off your pieces. Okay? I want some. Alright, she just wants two skinny pizzas. That bothers you, Abby, when they waste packaging like that? Yeah, but you still, that's. I got this 250 count melatonin from Costco for like $6.99 on rebate. Normally I buy like 100 pills for $5, so bothering Abby that Costco. Oh, you're walking away from me. I'm just getting the Sorry. package. Yes, they waste packaging at Costco for sure. Abby's having pasta, and then she'll have some pizza. She's like going all uh, Italian here, except it's really not. It's like the pasta packets. <laughs> We've discussed how many gallons of milk we go through in a week or even in a day. But how many bowls do we go through? This is why we go through so much milk. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 bowls in one day. Quite ridiculous, don't you think, Ash? Ashley's doing her dishes really quick before her pizza's ready. Is that the 
me ready. <laughs> no. Ready. It's not ready already. Oh my, <sighs> my goodness sakes, that's a lot of bowls. So I'm looking a little couch disheveled. So I'm gonna go get myself cleaned up. You're gonna finish your dishes. We just did the top and the bottom really fast. You're gonna put all that stuff away right there, Ash. And then utensils. You Where are these? Oh, there's just one utensil holder. Can you fix the internet? Yeah, when your dishes are done. You're looking a little. Do you wanna take a shower tonight or tomorrow? Tomorrow. Okay. We'll just get you in pajamas tonight before I go, and then Abby can put you to bed. Deal? Okay. Do your dishes. All right, I'm leaving, but she just did it again. I think it's sitting on those chairs. I think her leg goes to sleep or something. Abby's gonna take care of you, okay? Okay. <laughs> she just tooted. Okay, you be good. Abby's gonna get you some ice cream, okay? Okay. Love you, baby. You're okay. I know. Abby's gonna take care of you while it gets better, okay? Okay. I feel bad for leaving. If it's not in there, it's gone. Okay, Be good, Chels. Can I have it then? Yeah, you can have that one. I feel bad for leaving. She doesn't feel good, but my bride is here. Jason's here. It's pouring rain again. So, we're gonna go out. He's very hungry. I think he just had traffic coming home. So he's hungry and tired and we put you away. It's pouring rain. <laughs> Sorry guys, I totally forgot to uh, capture Jason before we left on our little date because we were kind of rushed. Stop, you can't hear. I, well, I gotta see. Can't you see I can't see? <laughs> I don't know, but I can't have this on. Well, you can't hear me. Okay, let's get our defrost to work and then we'll be right back. All right, now we can see mostly out of our windshield. We're almost home and I want to end our video here. We learned something tonight that we should be doing in like just a shoe, a shoe, a few short months that kind of scared us <laughs> a little bit. Our friends that we just went out with have four kids. They had two kids and then nine years later they had two more kids. <laughs> and their two daughters are Kaylee's age. And one of their daughters is Kaylee's age. One of their daughters. Yeah, I mean like they're a year apart from each other. They re made us realize that Kaylee turns 15 in just a few months. Sorry, you can't really see me very well. Kaylee turns 15 in just a few months, and they said have her get her driver's or permit starting in, at when she's 15 and let her go the entire year before she's 16 practicing driving and getting her fully like experienced driving before she gets her driver's license because she'll just be a way better driver. And holy crap, right? That's yeah. three months away. Yeah, I think you should hang on to your car for like two years and then she'll have a car and then we'll have more money to buy you. So, I, see this is the conversation we haven't even had yet. Like, I, I don't know what to do because I don't know if I want her driving my nice new car but I am not waiting two years to get a new car. <laughs> so then do we just not sell our car? Do we just keep it and no, then? No, we can't, no. Because what are we gonna do? What are we gonna park it? What are we gonna do with it? No, it's not, no. So now I'm just gonna have to like really teach her how to drive really well on my car or something. Well, so you need to get her earning money so she'll have money. I know. So anyway. That's it, you guys. It was really fun to hang out with our friends. We spent like three and a half hours just talking at dinner and just having a good time. And I'm he's tired. A lot, so yeah, I'm he's not exhausted. <laughs> no, just this week. But and nothing is like I've been telling them. I'm really bored. So it was actually really nice to go out tonight. I hope the kids did well at home. But um, and I hope Ashley's fine. I got to figure out what's wrong with her leg every time. I think it's falling asleep. It's like my kids don't didn't know for a really long time what a headache was. They always said that they were dizzy. And then they get to an age where I've helped them learn what a headache is. So I think she doesn't know what it Maybe we need to help our kids with adjectives. <laughs> I, I don't know. How do you teach a kid that a headache is something you feel in your head? I don't know. So I don't, she doesn't know what her leg falling asleep feels like or what that is. So I think that's how what's happening. It. How to describe it, yeah. So, and I don't know why it hurts her so much. We need to ask her feelings and ask her like what's going on. I know, on. I did. She said it just hurts, it just hurts. So anyway, we'll end that 
on that note, I guess. But because <laughs> there's nothing exciting. If we have kids awake at home, it's just going to be chaos. So I don't, you don't need to be coming along for that. But thank you for joining us, and we'll see you next time. So one more quick thing. Abby's cute because she's quite the little baker, and uh, looks like she made some little uh, no bake cookies while we were gone. But um, Jason and I wanted to like tell you one final clue. I told you I was gonna say this. What are you doing? Putting away the pizza. Oh, yeah, they didn't really clean up. They moved, anyway. Okay, so Jason, let's tell them our last little clue for our trip. Are we telling them the clue or are we telling them I'm gonna them tell you, clue? I put a clue in every single video for the last five days, so five videos. I put the same clue in every single video and if you recognize it, you'll know it'll, exactly it'll where we're going. Way exactly. Like exactly. So it could be something we say, something we're wearing, something you see, something somewhere we go. It's just something in the video. But it's the same in every single video. So if, as soon as you recognize that it's the same thing in every single video, you'll know exactly what it is and exactly where we're going. And I will give one more clue over on my Instagram account. I've only done like three so far, I think. Because you want to tell them it's an. <laughs> No, because it may not be. A, to cut that out. <laughs> Dana, cut that part out. So Jason <coughs> just gave away a really big clue. So we have to cut out what Jason says sometimes. Well, you can just do a beep. I know. So this is why. I, anyway, I'm going to put that playlist down below so you can go and check out the last five videos, including this one. Yes, there was a clue in today's video and yesterday's. And three more on top of that. The kids have enjoyed this too. It's, it's been a lot of fun reading everyone's guesses. Yeah. Kind of Someone said that really Paris fun. is having this interaction with you guys has been. It's been super really, fun. really fun. Someone today said, I forget who it was, Joan or Pat, I can't remember who it was. I'll have to go look at the comments. But they said Paris was out. And I was like, who says Paris is out? I don't like I have never told any one of you your guess is wrong or if, if it's going, right. She's going off the clues. Yeah, maybe you're going off the clues. Maybe that's helping you. But I can guarantee that if you find the clue in our videos, you'll know exactly where we're going. And so as soon as I see someone comment that, that you watch these videos and know it, then we'll get on and we'll tell you. So it's been kind of fun. Sorry, he's in like cleanup mode because he wants to go to bed. But we're going to call it a night, you guys. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Night.